Dad, why does this have to be so difficult? You're my father, so I should love you, but I've spent so much of my life hating you. I was a terrible father. I know this. You know, I can justify a lot of the screwed up things that you've done. You bullied me because you wanted to make me tough. You tried to ruin my marriage because you wanted me to have a career. You even burned down your diner just because you wanted to see me again. I can't understand how you could murder your own brother. And I'm worried. When you're gone, that's all I'll remember. I still hate you for it. You should hate me for it. So why did you do it? I was always jealous of Keith. Even when we were kids. I was athletic, popular, all the things that he wasn't. But still, I was jealous of him. And people were drawn to Keith, and I hated him for it. So you shot him because people liked him more? The day I shot Keith, I was in a dark place. I was convinced that he tried to kill me. I'd lost you, divorced your mom. My life was spiraling downwards, and meanwhile, Keith was building a new life with my high school sweetheart and the child that I abandoned. Every time I looked at him, I felt like I was punched in the gut. So what happened in that hallway? Keith wanted to go into the school to save that kid. So I let him go, hoping he'd get shot. Let him be the hero, as long as he was a dead hero. And then I thought, why should he be the hero? Why could be me? So I followed him in. Jimmy was crying. And Keith was telling him, it gets better. That pain in your heart, that voice in your head that tells you there's no way out. It's wrong. It gets better. And I felt like he was talking to me. And in that moment, maybe the most heroic, kindest moment of my big brother's life, I hated him. I hated him more than anyone or anything. Because nothing had gotten better. That pain was still in my heart. That voice in my head saying that there's no way out was right. And he was standing there lying to me. And after Jimmy died, I picked up the gun and I aimed it at Keith. And he looked at me. And all I could think of was how everything that had gone wrong in my life was his fault. And it wasn't going to get better until he was gone. Just pull the trigger and it all ends. So I pulled the trigger. And it didn't end. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there are a lot of people that you need to say I'm sorry to. But I'm not one of them. I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for you career, my family, my life. No matter what you've done, you're still my father. My father, I love you. Oh, Nathan. I love you too.